Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia, and in today's video I'm going to talk to you about making use of the metronome in Personas Studio One. The metronome is really easy to access and use in Studio One. Let's dive right in. Down here in the transport for Studio One, you're going to notice a section which is labeled metronome. And you're going to see a small icon that looks like a metronome. Now when you enable that, your metronome is going to be enabled. Now the metronome, of course, is going to click and allow you to keep time with the tempo which you set in your project, which is set right over here, just next to the time signature for your Studio One song. Now if you would like to uh, configure the metronome, click on the small wrench icon right here. And this is going to open the metronome setup dialog box. And this is where you can make a few changes to the metronome and kind of personalize it for your own recording style. If you click right here where it says click sample, this is going to allow you to select a different sound for your click. So if you don't like the default click, you can select a different sound to make use of. This is also where you can set the level for your click. So if you want to drop your click to not be too loud, change the slider. If you want to make it louder, drag that slider upwards. Now you can also change the accent sample here because of course the click is not going to always be just the same sound over and over again. We are going to hear an accent based on our time signature, which we have currently set in our Studio One song. So, uh, this way, by clicking on the pull-down menu, you can select and change the sound for your accent. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. On that one, you're going to hear a different accent sound. Now, of course, this is just figuring you're working in 4-4. Four, four. That's going to change depending on your time signature setting. And now, of course, you can change the accent level as well. Sometimes it's a little more optimal to have your accent level a little lower than your overall click level, uh, or sometimes it's vice versa. It just really depends on your own personal recording style. Now, the other thing that uh, a lot of folks wonder about is how to set a pre-count, and here you're going to see a section labeled pre-count bars. Now what this is going to do is it's going to count in before you begin actually recording in Studio One. So this way you can count in and get ready for your performance. So in this case, I have my pre-count set to two bars. So I'll get one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, and then I'll start recording. But you can change this to your liking, of course. If you need more pre-count bars, just simply enter a different value into this box. You could set five. You can really set just about anything that you would like. Just make sure that it is optimal for your own recording style. Finally, you can select to enable the click in the pre-count only, so you would get a 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, just before you started recording after that, you would not hear the click while recording. You can also select the option to click in play. This way, when you are simply playing back audio in Studio One, you can have the click active, and this is very useful if you're trying to, let's say, use Audio Bend in order to retime some audio and make it keep up with the tempo of your Studio One song. Finally, you can select the option for double tempo. This can be very useful uh, for different musical parts which you might be working on uh, just to allow you to really be able to lock in the timing. It's really useful for drummers uh, because generally a simple one, two, three, four does not really work, especially for a drummer because they so often work in 16th notes and 30 seconds and so on and so forth. So all of these options when put together are going to set your metronome up for recording in Studio One. Now, of course, uh, this is all going to depend on what kind of uh, recording style you have. Now, there's one other thing that I should mention. I was talking about that pre-roll option with the metronome. Pre-roll is not going to be uh, engaged by default in Studio One. In order to engage pre-roll, you need to click on the small icon right here next to the word metronome. This is going to engage pre-roll in Studio One. Now this is also accessed by pressing the O key on your keyboard. So simply click on that icon, and now you have engaged pre-roll recording in Studio One. So I've uh, engaged my metronome, I have pre-roll enabled as well, and I have set my track to be record enabled. I'll go ahead and start recording and just show you guys how the metronome will work for recording in Studio One. So here we go. Two, two, three, four, and now we are recording in Studio One with the metronome. And there you go. The metronome will play along while you're recording, but the sound of the metronome will not be recorded to your audio track, of course. This is not something that's going to loop back and record over your audio track. 
it's just useful for being able to keep time with your project and really, really useful when you are uh, recording in piecemeal. If you happen to rec be recording with multiple musicians and overdubbing a lot of pieces, you're going to want to make heavy usage of your metronome while working in Studio One. So there you go, guys. I hope that this has been useful to you. And as always, please stay in touch with me. My email address is brian at obedia.com. And you can get me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obedia tutor. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash obedia tutor. And of course, give us a call to work one on one with a digital audio trainer just like myself. Find out how we can help you to get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. And we'll help you tame your technology. That's what we do best. Here at Obedia. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.